we take this exact same problem, we break it up into these parts, and a lot of people like to do it with a grid. And what they'll do, just to keep track of making sure that they do multiply all these parts, is they will put a 30 up here, and they will put a 5 up here, and then they'll put a 20 over here, and then put an 8 over here. So this is the same exact method, um, but it's just organizing in a different manner. Instead of uh, drawing the arrows, you can create a problem like this. Then we just multiply the, the two sides of the box. 20 times 30 is 600. 20 times 5 is 100. 8 times 30 is 20. 240. Uh, 20 times 5 is, oops, I'm sorry, 8 times 5 is 40. So now all we have to do is add these together. Um, and we can list them out here, 600, 100, 240, and 40. Um, what a lot of people then like to do is they like to add them like straight down. So 600 plus 240 is 840, and 100 plus 40 is 140. Now all I have to do is add those two together. And um, actually, I guess you guys can't see that on the board. But 600 plus 240 um, is 840. And 100 plus 40 is 140. If you add those two together, you get 908, which is the exact same answer.